course, versus Soaring Hippo. It appears both mm. players already have mm. theirs in. Soaring Hippo is a teammate. Oh, I thought he played PT. <laughs> Last thing I know, but right, another so. Game and Watch. We just right, we just we, saw Gerd. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Game and Watch and Samus. So that bucket's gonna come into big play for Soaring Hippo. Oh. That charge shot. Oh. All right, going straight to small battle. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So immediately gets the up B out into a nair. There are quite a few sharking aerials right there from Soaring Hippo. Very aggressive start right here. Honestly, Blaz Blazing Blake hasn't come to an event in a minute. Like he comes by late usually and like runs the res bracket. Yeah. But um, I'm glad to see him back and kind of getting some stuff with the up airs here. Samus is such a little guy. Nah, I'm just a mad Wi-Fi player sometimes. Yeah. I embody that that little Wi-Fi rage. I, I would also like to remind folks at home that uh, my fellow commentator does play well. Um, <laughs> wow, that was interesting. That was insane. Uh, yeah, that, you know, cla I can only imagine Blake being really frustrated yeah, right cla now. But, classic you know. Game & Watch up B moment. Honestly. But, I mean, Blazing Blake making quick work. I mean, still doable with this. Oh, dropping the edge guard. Yeah, saved it. I almost called Sony Hippo Girth. Cause yeah. <laughs> all the Game & Watch, I'm just conditioned. Yeah, all right, drop that drop ledge trap. All right, up B does not quite kill. Um, probably, you know, probably a bit more percent. Probably around 130-ish is when Samus up B will start actually killing. I know, I feel like that move doesn't kill anymore. Ooh. I don't know I don't know about anymore, but yeah. Back throw. All right, now we're definitely in up B kill range. Ooh. All right. So, charge shot does some skill damage. Oh, Ooh. there it is. Parry wow. on that back Surprised air. I caught him. Awesome. But that was a fantastic parry by Blazing Blake on the back air to get to get the screw attack. People are talking shit. Is that Fat Girls? That is Fat Girls. How dare you? You're right, Fat Girls. I know, I know. I gotta drop this low too. Maybe I'll pick up Game and Watch. Yeah. Although, all, all I will say to Fat Girls is you first. But anyway, uh, true. Fat Girls, I lost. I lost to a Robin today, bro. Please take it easy, Robin. Oh uh, wait, you. Oh, I lost to a Robin. I was just okay. Then you lost the argument. Oh dear. Oh it's sad. Dear. It's sad. Yeah. Uh, uh, shout out to shout out whatever Robin beat you. No, no shout out for him. I'm yeah. just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, Blazing Blake though. Gotta yeah. make some. Gotta make, oh my. Oh. Ooh, you hate to see. You. Fat SD there. Um, our good friend SH. Alright, bro. Alright, down throw. Does get a nair. The Blazing Blake oh. does get the ledge trap. Here. Shot with the here, Hippo right back off for the edge guard. Looking a lot better for Blake. I think maybe Starring Hippo like kinda lost his composure. Right. Down throw. Ooh. Doesn't really get anything out of it. Yeah. Lock looking not not looking good for Starring Hippo. But still doable. Oh Ooh. yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Just barely yeah. killing. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Blazing Blake gets out to an early lead. So, so silly. I mean, we had like a completely different game in the beginning, and then sorry, but it takes one, it takes one mistake, it takes one mistake. But I mean, honestly, it's up to a good player to really capitalize on that. You know, Blazing Blake, good, good, you know, good shit to him for right. keeping his composure and like making it work. So, uh, counter picking a PS2. Uh, so Soaring Hippo uh, probably probably wants the uh, you know PS2. It's a slightly bigger stage, mm. so that definitely will yeah. help. Oh, oh, we yeah. got a character swap Come to PT. the Pokemon. I told yeah, you like, he played PT. It's what I remember. Definitely uh, a little more doable. Does Kyra still play? Yes, Kyra does still play. No, he retired. He's washed. He's a coach now. <laughs> I mean, he is a coach. Yeah, and Kairos, if you're watching this, if you want to prove that you're not washed, uh, you can uh, you can come through next week. He plays Violet now. Yeah, see? <laughs> you know, we can run the ditto. See, Soaring Hippo... I don't know. If it's, if this matchup's, you know, a little better. I think, you know, Squirtle definitely can, like, rush down Samus and kind of like, close up that wall, but I don't know. Like... Right. PT is a really solid character, but Blazing Blake has a lot of experience with PT. He plays Cujo, he's also in C27. They have a relationship and they fucking, you know, they run it all the time. Exactly. Um, so, Blazing Blake, he's ready for this. But I mean, I don't know, but, sorry, Hippo kind of making, putting him work on his edge guard here. I feel like PT doesn't have amazing tools against Samus's charge shot. Like, like unlike. Um, a lot of other characters where PT often will just switch to get an answer. I don't feel like there's a great answer anywhere in PT's kit for this. 
aside from maybe Razor Leaf or something. Yeah, you gotta like bait it out and kind of just either, you know, wait for it, just play it chill, but at the same time, he's doing a good job. I mean, Blazing Blake not really putting out a lot of charge shot, I mean, like, fully charged ones, but he's mixing it up with the, you know, Oy. but of course, a classic answer to every problem <laughs> is just a Charizard back air to the face. Yes. yes. Oh, God. Tries to do jab back air, does not quite get it. Yeah. I guess, you know, that is Ooh. Zard, Zard, uh, yeah. I, the classic down beat the charge shot, they're going to take that stock. Still kind of even here, honestly, I'm going to say, I'm going to say it. But, I mean, I'm not counting out Starring Hippo yet. He's looking a lot better at this game, for sure. Right. Nair, forward air. Oh, good up B nice. at a shield right there. You know, that, it's always positive. Always. Yeah. We can try and place yeah. that down there, but he's there. Ooh, Hippo. Ooh, Hippo. Oh, All right. Wow. Oh, he's not quite getting anything off that Razor. He, he, Hippo's not been getting a ton of extensions this game. I mean, honestly. Yeah, he's playing the slope. He's like getting his 20%, backing up, or like, you know, but like, he'll get like a little bit of punish, like that one sort of punish he had, but Blazing Blake, ooh, answering back. The issue is you like, playing the slow game against Samus. It kind of feels like you're just doing what the Samus player wants. Yeah. Like, when you let Samus control the pace of the match, you're inherently just giving them a lot of power. Yeah, honestly. You know, especially with Samus having a ton of control. Just, ah. Uh, yeah. Of course, Blazing Blake right there using the weak charge shot into the grab to get that up throw. That Samus up throw, really good killer at late percents, you know, honestly. Sorry, Hibble's got to make something work here. He's down a game. Yeah, that down a stock. Squirtle up smash will not kill. Never. <laughs> All right, now he's on Squirtle. Which, if he's looking for the stock, I wouldn't necessarily think yeah. his, his answer. He might not find it. Yeah, see, there, there he goes to the uh, Ivysaur. We were just missing the up B there. How are going to work for him? Yeah, basically, kind of just being patient. <laughs> you know? Which he has to be. I think he really, I don't know, like you said. Like, Sorry, was trying to, oh. ooh, trying to adapt to the charge shot back here. Blade pace, but it's not happening. All right, bomb. Oh, good Pokemon change to get out of that. that this forward air will not kill. Oh, I don't know. But it, it's going to set up an edge guard, and that's going that's to get that. That's it. That's it. say he didn't have a jump at that yeah. point. So Blazing Blake taking it 2-0 over Soaring Hippo. Um, the Game & Watch counter pick not really working. Was that how you think it was, that's what he was doing? Hey, man. Do you want to commentate? I don't want to take it. We'll do one more set. We'll do one more set, and then you can come. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh. shout out to our good friend Ice Man. Yeah, Ice Man, uh, trying to get in. You know, um, everyone's favorite DDD player around here. He's my favorite. 